what's going on guys hope you're all having a great day today in today's video I'll be showing you how to be invincible in Skyrim you will need a few ingredients though to do this and I'll talk about that later in the video but before we get started if you don't mind please drop a like on this video because it did take me a while to make it and as always thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later alright so first off I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by being invincible so I'm going to go to Soul Steam to demonstrate. Right now we're at Soul Steam. I'm gonna get a bunch of people to attack me, and I cannot die. That's all I'm gonna say at the moment. I cannot die. With the Astrid, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Well done, friend. Is he gonna attack me? Oh, here we go. And. They're gonna hit me, and I just you I cannot. You committed crimes it. against the dumb no, people of Sorcar. Good. I've been itching. I'm not losing any help. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys my armor. It has increased health by that humongous number, which means I can't be wounded at all. And also I have infinite stamina and infinite magicka. And this method I'm going to show you is very easy to do. You just need ingredients, as I said before, and as you can see, the giant number at the bottom where health, magic, and stamina is, that's how much health, magic, and stamina I have, which is an insane number. You can also do this on weapons. My Daedric bow and daggers and sword have an insane amount of uh, damage. And I can one-shot dragons and, and uh, dragon priests and yeah, and my Iron Dagger has 767 damage, so that's kind of insane.
something. Alright, for my second demonstration, I'm gonna one-shot a dragon with my bow. I'll show you just how powerful it is. And it's weird, because once you shoot it once, it doesn't die immediately, because, like, the game doesn't, like... I don't know, it's really weird. It, like, doesn't let it die until it hits the ground. But you'll see in a sec. You notice his entire health bar is gone. And watch, he's just gonna land and then he'll die. So he just died. Alright, the first ingredient you need is Serotic Spade Tail. And the best place to find that is Riften. Or right outside Riften in the water areas. Okay, now we have to go over to the water area. And I'm not like very well in Riften, by the way. So that's why I'm shooting all the guards. Ah, uh, where's the water area? Is it over here? No, it's not over here. That's over this direction. Okay. Is there anybody else coming after me? I don't see anybody. Alright, once in the water, you want to swim around and look for cirrhotic spade tail and there aren't very many actually in the water I only find one or two sometimes but make sure you check the fish barrels by the docks if you don't find any and then once you maybe find one or two if you have Winstead Manor you can hatch some in the fish hatchery and get like seven or eight from that so that helps a lot if you have Winstead Manor. By order of the yard, stop right. No, there. I'd rather die. Considering you can't kill me. Okay, so now let's check the fish barrels because I didn't find any fish. Let's see, you also need salt pile. So when you go here, take all the salt pile because that's a key ingredient. And there's one right there. You're gonna need at least maybe 10 or 11 of the ceramic spade tails. So if you don't find enough, the only other way is if you have Winstead Manor is to uh, hatch some. That's the only other way that I know to do. All 
Alright, now I'm going to go to Winstad Manor and show you, if you don't know already, how to, like, hatch the Serodic Spade Tail. Or whatever it's called. Okay, once here, you're going to want to go down by the water, and there'll be, like, a fenced-in part in the water where you can hatch fish. And I've already hatched some fish, so I'm just going to show you, like, where it is and what I'm talking about. See, so that's where you hatch it, right there. I already have 19 because I already collected a lot before the video. But you can see I already have a few in here. There's usually only like six or seven in here at a time. They won't spawn any more in. So after you take a bunch, it takes like a day or two for them to spawn back. For the next ingredient, you're going to want to go to Dawnstar. And then the Arl's Mage's Quarters, there's four um, Haygrave and Claw. And you need to take those. That's the next ingredient. And they do respawn. So you can go back there every like 48 hours, I think. I'm here to lend my magic to the people of Dawnstar. The next ingredient you need is blister wart, and you can find that at the Riverwood Inn. He'll have three at a time. Once you get three, you wait 48 hours and three more will spawn in and you have to buy them from the guy behind the counter. Need a room? Take a look. Till next. We uh, got rooms and food. Need a room? Drink. Drink too. for the thirsty. Cook. Food for the, the hungry. Hotel. The next ingredient you'll need is snowberries. They can be found in almost any snow region. So anywhere you see snow, just go find. They should be around there. So you can just go find them. And. I have 141 salt pile, but you don't need 141 salt pile. You need maybe 10, 15.
Alright, the next location, or a location to get snowberries, is at Nightingale Inn. Mostly any snow region you can find them, but there seems to be quite a few at Nightingale Inn. So you just go there and walk around the outside. There should be four or five or six around there. Alright, we're at Nightingale Inn, and there are already snowberries just right around here. Let's see, that's not any. I think there's some down here. Who's there? And there's a dragon here, that's great. Shoot him. No. Oh what, there are two dragons. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Are there are two dragons. Oh my goodness. Anyway, back to it. Snowberries. Uh, there's some right here. And right there. And another good place for snowberries is by the Blue Palace in Solitude. There's some right at the entrance in front of the Blue Palace. So that's also a good place to look. Bye bye. Killed that dragon. the last ingredient you're gonna need spriggan sap and there's one in Arcadia's cauldron I think it's called and there's two at the College of Winterhold on the top shelf so I'll see you guys in a sec
Alright, I just fast forward to I'm at the very top of the college winter hold and I'm about to jump off and you can comment down below what you think is going to happen before I do it. I'm at the very highest tower at the college winter hold and I'm going to jump off. So make sure you comment before I do it. And I didn't die. Alright, I'm going to show you exactly what all those ingredients are going to make us. The first going to make a insane enchanting potion. That makes it like that humongous number percent stronger. Which is why the uh, enchantment on my bow is so high and a smithing potion. Which is insane. You're going to need some apparel, you're going to need some created potions are 15 plus percent more powerful. You can buy those or you can enchant them at an enchanting table. You can buy them at most stores in Skyrim. But once you have those, you need to equip them, make a potion, then drink the potion, and then unequip and re-equip everything, and do that over and over and over again until it gets to an insanely high percentage and if your alchemy gets to 100 don't go past it or it'll go to a negative number and that won't be good because then it wouldn't work at all make sure you make a lot of potions because I've already made my potions so this is not going to get any higher for me I'm just explaining how to do it but this is 100% working it works I will link the original video down in the description because I did not find this. Somebody else found it and I honestly didn't think it was a well thought out video so I made a better, hopefully better version of it. So I'll link that down in the description for proof and a better tutorial on how to make the potions. They say the loyal don't budge and real G's move in silence And thugs really in it, not the ones promoting violence I know a couple in it that's trying to get up out it And it's all street knowledge, they ain't get to go to college A lot of people tapping in, huh? I'm El Capitan yeah. You speak on what we say and we'll never rap again yeah. I done made myself a villain, surrounded by savages Appreciate the struggle, cause now it's extravagant That Porsche got a Hemi, look what God sent me uh. Pull up in my gate and see a beam of Benz and Bentley I hardly ever brag and hardly ever say